Hello, this is my Raspberry Pi and Go board setup. Currently controlling the servo. On the left is the Raspberry Pi with our USB gear board and mouse, Ethernet, power, and HDMI up to our TV. We've got a ribbon cable connecting the GPIO pins onto the GERD board, which then connects onto the microcontroller and the outputs. The servo is connected through a buffered output. Uh, the GERD board sends pulse signals to the servo to control the speed and direction of the standard servo and we've stripped a USB cable as an external 5 volt power supply which powers the server and the final signal cable is plugged directly into the GERD board. So here's how we did it. First of all we bought the GERD board kit which included the PCB and all of the components that were needed to be soldered which took several hours. After you've got it completed, you can attach the ribbon cable to the Raspberry Pi and follow the GERT board to test the uh, follow the GERT's manual to test the GERT board and follow the section called programming the 80 mega microcontroller to plug in these GPIO cables into uh, those. Um, the servo we're running is wired through a buffered output. Uh, the microcontroller sends a pulse out of this PB5 pin to buffered 1 as a jumper so that buffered 1 is outputting. There's ground, the white one, and there's the pulse on the red which leads up here through to the servo's connector. Power, power coming out of the stripped USB cable we bodged and into the servo. So here's what's on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is the Arduino IDE, which we are using to program the microcontroller on the GERT board. Uh, downloading and installing the IDE is all in GERT's user manual for the board. Uh, after you've got it installed, if you start the program, you'll need to, first of all, set up the board and the controller you're using, which is one of these two and set the programmer to use the Raspberry Pi GPIO. So here's my code that I'm using to control the servo. At the top we've specified the output pin in which we're using, which 13 on the microcontroller translates into PB5 on the GERT board, which is all in the menu. These weight values are the minimum and maximum pulses for the servo. Uh, it's a standard servo, so it goes either left 90 degrees one way, up to 90 degrees right from the middle position. Below that, we've got some code to variably control the speed as it's running to make it go faster and slower. Some variables to wait between each end of it. At the start, we just set the output pin to outputting instead of inputting. Whilst we're looping, make sure that the pulse duration is within the minimum and maximum. Then send. You have a delay of 20 milliseconds between each pulse, and then send a high. Wait for however many microseconds is required for the turn that you want, and then send a low again. The rest of the code handles waiting between each turn at the end. This controls the servo's speed which is completely variable in this code. Switches between forwards and backwards slower and faster. And at the bottom of it is where it switches direction. If we get all the way one way we we'll spin it around and all the other way the other way and we go back to normal. So that's the code which we use to program it. Go to file upload using programmer, plug your pins in, plug your servo in and then it will run.